You know, I think the great thing about art is that it has no function. It's its own argument. So it's, all, all art has to do is be either beautiful or provocative. It, it just needs to you know, provoke a reaction. I think, you know, when you're talking about sculpture, there is an expectation of handcrafting. You know, you, you don't want the same one as everybody else. The idea is it's a one of a kind. I don't know any sculptors. I'm honestly, I'm a little resentful of anybody who could do something that I could never possibly ever do. Working with, you know, stone, just chipping away, it seems impractical. But if you're in the market for sculpture, I mean, I, I, I don't want a more efficient one. You know what I'm saying? There are certain ingredients in a professional kitchen situation where only a few people are allowed to handle them because one wrong move turn something that's worth a lot of money into something that's absolutely worthless. That said, even a, a, a white truffle as big as your fist in no way compares in price to some of the, some of the materials uh, we're talking about here that Sebastian's working with. If my daughter came to me and said, Daddy, I want to I want to carve uh, beautiful objects out of stone. Oh, well, I guess it's better than, I mean, there are a number of other worse things. You know, she could say, I, you know, I met a guy, he's really nice, he's a chef. That would be deeply upsetting. My daughter, the sculptor. Yeah, why not? Sure. I think the sheer lunacy of, you know, wanting to make art out of big blocks of stone. That's kind of awesome.